Lebanon's parliament has begun debating whether to issue arrest warrants for four men suspected of assassinating the country's former prime minister six years ago. A United Nations investigation has identified four members of Hezbollah, the powerful Shiite militia, as the prime suspects. But Hezbollah and its allies now hold a majority in Lebanon's parliament and hand-pick the new prime minister, Najib Mikati. Now, many fear the pursuit of justice may trigger a new round of violent unrest. Middle East correspondent Ann Barker reports. The massive truck bomb that killed Lebanon's former Prime Minister Rafik Hariri and 22 others was and remains one of the most shocking assassinations seen in the Middle East. Six years on, his murder still casts a shadow over Lebanese political life. That's because suspicion over the bombing has long fallen on Hezbollah, the Shiite militia, which is also a powerful force within the Lebanese government. And only last week, a United Nations tribunal formally named four Hezbollah members as the prime suspects. Si l'accusé, les accusés... If the accused, or some of them, do not contact lawyers, then they will be tried in absentia. In that case, I myself have to assign lawyers on this list to defend the accused. The special UN tribunal has now handed indictments for the bombing to Lebanon's state prosecutor, giving him 30 days to carry out the arrest warrants. But Hezbollah's leader, Hassan Nasrallah, has vowed never to hand the men over. I believe not in 30 days, not in 60 days, not in one year, not in two years, not in 30 years or 300 years can they arrest or hold these men. The Hezbollah leader steadfastly denies his group had any role in Rafik 